Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. This is a cup of coffee that I got this morning. It's very hot and I let it, I put some plastic wrap around it and the liquid and the air inside has cooled and created a suction on here and it makes very nice parabolic shape. The cool thing about this is is so strong. This is really thin plastic wrap, but it will hold the curve even with the weight of the liquid on it. Even though this is clear, it creates pretty good focal point. There's the sun. This is the cup with the clear top on it. It actually gets warm. It's not enough to burn anything because it's not a lot of the sunlight's being absorbed in the coffee and reflected out. But as this heats up, if I leave this out in the sun and it warms up, I'll actually go from concave to convex if you get it hot enough. So I have my hot cup of coffee about half full. This is a piece of very, very thin mylar that I salvaged from this source. It was a stretch used to be a mirror. The front side is first surface. You can tell that it's yellowing a little bit. Back side is the second surface. So I've taped the mylar down and the hot coffee's inside of there. I don't want to shake this because one drop of coffee right there started to eat the first surface coating off of the inside. I couldn't really shake it around so it didn't draw very good. So I put a little pinhole in there. I'm going to force the air out and manually do this. If I had mylar that was water resistant on both sides, it was really thin, this would work. And then I'm going to cover it up with this piece of tape. Now you can see the vacuum holding good and I'm going to do this quick. It's actually stiffer material and it's a longer focal length so here we go. Let's see if we can find it. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your videos.